Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides, and in this video, I want to share with you hash methods that are exclusive to Ruby on Rails. So let's do this. Okay, we are here on the Rails documentation. This is Ruby on Rails 6, as you can see right here. And what you're seeing here is the hash class. Specifically, these are the methods that Rails adds to Ruby. So these are methods that are only available if you are using a Rails application or if you're using active support. Okay, so active support is the part of Rails that has all of these additional extra methods that make working with different Ruby classes faster and easier for you. Okay, so here is the list of methods. We are not going to cover all of them. I just want to highlight a few of them so you can understand what's available to you. So right here, I have a Rails console and I'm going to create a hash. I'm just going to call it H Although H and single letter variable names are not ideal, right? Because they don't mean much. But for example, some for blocks that I okay. So let's create our hash. This is just going to be something like this. Very simple, but it's going to work for this demonstration. So from here, we have a few methods. And uh, let's take one. For example, how about except? Well, except returns a hash that includes everything except the given keys. So let's give this a try. Have H. And let's say that we don't want the C key. We only want A and B. Well, we should be able to do except C. And we get a new hash that only has a and B. Helpful, right? And uh, I believe we can pass a list like this. Um, yeah, that works too. Okay, so that's the except method, simple enough, not complicated. And uh, it's uh, there is also except um, with uh, exclamation mark. What it means is that this is going to change the hash and this version returns a new hash. So that's usually the difference when there is an exclamation mark. Exclamation mark means this changes hash. This gives you a new hash. Okay. So what other methods can be helpful? Uh, how about reverse merge? Reverse merge can be interesting. Although I prefer just switching the order. So what's reverse match? Well, if we have a, a hash like this, we might want to merge it, combine it together with another hash, right? Uh, that might look something like this. So merge, use plain Ruby method, regular Ruby method. You don't need rails for this. And we can do, for example, C four D five like that. What's going to happen? Well, because hash keys are unique, the C4 is going to replace this C3. So you can see right here, right? Now what reverse match is, is the equivalent at switching the order of this. So if I switch the order, I take this as the first hash, the main hash or the left hash, whatever you want to call it, and then I put our hash in there, then I get the different result. We keep C as being free because whatever you merge in, it overrides the values. And that's just because hash keys are unique and that's important to remember. So the reverse merge, this method that um, Rails adds, 
just does that. Does the reverse match without having to switch the order of these parameters. Okay. Personally, I think reverse merge is too long. Usually, I don't have a problem with long uh, method names or not a long variable names. But in this case, because we have merge and we can su just switch the order, I don't think it really adds any meaning to have reverse match. In, in fact, it, may, it makes me have to think extra hard because now we have to think the reverse of how merge usually works, right? So just because Rails has, so the point is this, just because Rails has a method like this doesn't mean you have to use it, okay? This is a specific case of that. I will just stick with the regular Ruby merge method and switch the order if I need to change the order. Okay, so I hope that's clear enough. So that's another method. Uh, we can look at, for example, oh, a stringific keys. Well, that's another method. And it returns a new hash without, without keys converted to strings. Okay, so in here we have every key. So these are the keys, and you can get the keys like this Ruby method. <laughs> and A, B, C, they are symbols, right? And you know these are symbols because they have this colon um, thing symbol in front of them, right? So you might want to convert these into strings for some reason, and that's why Rails has this method. That's called a stringify kill, kiss. So it converts symbols into strings. That's it, okay? So if you ever need to do this, well, now you know that you have this method. But from all of these, I think the most helpful is probably um, accept, because it allows you to slice up your hash and just get parts that you want. In fact, there is also a relate method that's called a slice here. And that's similar to extract. But instead of taking away um, this, it gets you only these values. So let's give that a try. So if I do a slice C, it gives me just C, right? So it's the opposite of extract. So just like, oops. Uh, okay. No, it, it was accept, sorry, accept, right there. Uh, you need to get your names right for the things to work, right? So that's a slice and extract are Rails methods and they're opposite of each other, okay? So this might come, these are especially helpful, for example, in params. Params is like a hash, right? The params parameters hash in Rails. It's you can call these methods because it's not exactly a hash, but it behaves like a hash. So that's about it. If you want to explore more of these methods, you can go yourself to the Rail, Ruby on Rails documentation and explore them on your own. Always that you are exploring documentation, you want to make sure to try these methods. Try them out. Don't just read the description. Actually try the methods on the Rails console or IRB. If you choose a regular Ruby, you don't need Rails console, right? So try these methods so you can see how they work and try different parameters, different ways to use them. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. 
If you did, please click the like button for me below this video so I know that you like it and some more people can find this video and benefit from this information. If you want to learn more, watch more of my videos on this channel right now, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com in there you will find many many ruby tutorials that you can use to improve your ruby skills and also you will find my ruby book which you can buy to support my work and to improve your ruby skills faster thanks all for your support thanks all for watching i will see you in the next video